we have arrived in Podic, Croatia. Only took us an hour and a half, probably door to door, but it is completely different already. Architecture's different. Everything's different already. Way more people. Way more people. A lot busier than Pran, Slovenia. But yeah, we're here. We've arrived. She went out for a run. I'm just going to meet her on the point now. And then uh, another city, another potential illegal drone fly. We'll see, but have a look at this. That was the most incredible seaside run I have ever done. Ridiculous. It's like I found all the beaches with hidden chairs. Oh, the water just gets prettier and it's just under trees and this kind of rock. Amazing. Porridge, Croatia is a coastal town with lots of history and Mediterranean charm. We walked through Roman built streets, admired the Byzantine craftsmanship of the Euphrasian Basilica and saw the Venetian influence all throughout the town's architecture. We highly recommend the Euphrasian Basilica. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and costs 10 euros to get in, but totally worth it. It's almost too hard to comprehend the age of some of the artifacts scattered around this property. I think coming from like what's renowned as the Nana State, it's refreshing just to come out and you can see these artifacts, you can just touch them, they're not behind glass, there's no signs on them, do not touch and anything like that. It's from the 5th century, like this stuff, I imagine should be behind plexiglass and security, but here in Croatia it's just all out and nothing's destroyed, no one sort of disrespects it, it's, uh, yeah, it's refreshing. <laughs> Well, that is our time in Podic, Croatia done, which is amazing. And just yet another form of transport cancelled. That there was our ferry that was taking us from Podic, Croatia across to Venice. And they've cancelled it because of bad weather. I assume it's out in the sea that it's pretty rough because the weather's actually quite nice. So Tashi's lining up to figure out what's going on. But uh, we've got a flight tonight as well. A little bit stressful, but... We're, pretty, we're getting pretty used to uh, modes of transport getting cancelled on us. The update is that we're getting a bus from the bus station along with... How many people do you reckon are up there? Fair few, yeah. 30 other people and then a bunch of other people just cancelled their tickets. But we've got to lug our, lug our luggage. We have to roll our luggage through town to the bus station, which is always a bit of a hassle. But it's a three-hour bus now instead of the ferry. We'll get there. So the ferry from... Podic got cancelled as Sean said and the bus arrived into Venice that was the alternative form of transport for the ferry 45 minutes later than expected so now we have 30 minutes to get to the airport before check-in closes <laughs> how fun were the bridges fun. there's about 50,000 bridges to get over with suitcases this doesn't make Venice fun <laughs> It's never not stressful, but we got here. Really quick transition through the airport. Got to the um, gate with a few minutes to spare anyway. And then waited at the gate and for then, 40 minutes. Yeah, then waited there forever. 
But anyway, the reason why we are in Paris is because we are going to watch a squash tournament. A friend of mine, Paul Cole, he's currently number three in the world. And I reached out to him and told him we're over here and he actually got us some tickets. So we're going to go watch him play in the quarterfinals tonight and hopefully the semi-finals and the finals over the next four days. But we'll see how it goes. So I can only imagine that the next four days is going to be very exciting for Tashi. Yeah. <laughs> kind of feels like we love Paris, but Paris doesn't love us back. Everything went wrong on that. We... What went wrong? I'm turning the camera. I don't know, like, what went wrong? I'm about to say. Got in a cab, turns out big crash on the highway, took ages for us to get here, way longer than we thought. Got here, place is amazing, but all of our buffer time is gone now and we're absolutely stressing or rushing to have dinner before I get to go watch Paul play for the first time. Pretty action-packed day, 10 hours of traveling, straight into two back-to-back -back squash games. Four countries, Italy, Venice, uh, <laughs> fuck. Italy, Slovenia, France, and Croatia. Little update done. Since we'd visited Paris before, we skipped the typical tourist spots and stayed in the third arrondissement in a district called Marais. It was unbelievably cool, packed with vintage shops, cafes and restaurants. And the coffee quality was impeccable. We did, however, do a last minute trip out to Palace of Versailles, and it is absolutely massive with the palace and gardens covering over 2,000 acres of land. It is a testament of how the French royals liked to flaunt their wealth and power. After a little bit of downtime, it was time to pack our bags yet again and make our way back to Poland and commence the process of Sean's visa application. Till next time.